empty. Ah, uh, bloody hell. Alright, stand by. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. If you watched last week, you'll know that most of the things that I own that have engines in them are broken. The Golf has a horrific misfire, cannot figure that out. That is gonna have to go up San Jose to Precision Motor Works and get a full going over because I have exhausted my mechanical know-how in trying to get it fixed. I think it might be injectors, we'll see, but we gotta figure that out. There is also no Acti in here. The Acti has been with a mechanic here in town at Desert Fleet Repair getting a full go Going through, but I just got a call to say that she or he or they, whatever it is, is ready. So we are gonna go over there now, go and pick it up. I have got a little Prezi for it because it's been in the doctor's office for a little while. And then the Acti will be back, which is perfect because I am ready to go and do some adventures in that thing. And then I just got a new Sea-Doo trailer. And so we are gonna be having to swap over the Sea-Doo's onto the new trailer. Look at that for a spare wheel. I went with 15s this time, which I believe is slightly bigger than the ones on that trailer. Trailer. Who knows? But we wrap them in the BF Goodrich KO2. So these are exactly the same tires that I have on my truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jada Jordan told me I don't need off-road tires on a trailer because they're not driven wheels. Shut up. They look cool. We've got this guy up at the front. So yeah, super stoked on the new trailer. It is gonna look so sick with the skis on it. So let's go and see Desert Fleet Dan and go and get the Acti back and then we can get on with our day. Also, I didn't get back home from California because I was shooting for the Producer Michael channel until two o'clock this morning. It is now eight o'clock and I've had about four hours sleep. So forgive me if I'm a little bit caffeinated and a little bit dopey today, but we're gonna get things done because we have to get balance and order back to the garage so that we can go and start shooting some epic content. All right, let's go. Do you wanna go get the Acti? Should we go get your mini truck back? Yeah, you wanna go get it? You wanna go get it? Huh, yeah? Okay, let's go. Up. Good boy. So Desert Fleet Dan typically works on big trucks. He works on all like heavy duty, uh, more commercial grade stuff, but he came highly recommended. So I called him up and said, look, I have this essentially Hot Wheels toy. Do you think you'd be able to go through it, see what he thinks wrong with it and then fix it? And he's like, yeah, it's just nuts and bolts, right? It's great because he's also mobile. So he came over and helped me a bit with the Golf. He's also helped me out with this truck because we've got some mods that we're gonna do to this that he's gonna come do at the house. But the Acti is with him so that he could properly go through it. And he ended up with quite the laundry list of things we needed to fix. So here with Desert Fleet Dan and uh, here is the Acti. So hit me with it. What does it need? What's wrong with it? So nothing too crazy. On this, the carburetor doesn't need clean. This is my fault. So, I decided to run sea foam through it, which, if you don't know what sea foam is, it's basically this stuff that you spray into the air intake and it just burns and cleans out any crap that might be in the carb or the uh, in the city. It just, it's some people swear by it, some people say it's the devil. What's your take? No, it works, you but like it also it? could break up some stuff, and which is what it's about. We found a coolant leak on it, which is coming okay. from the water pump. Okay, so we'll go ahead and actually do the water pump timing belt since it's all there. I did find the front differential CV axle seals leaking. Anything else? Um, that's it. I mean, otherwise it's a pretty good shape. Okay. Just need a little TLC here, you know, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing too crazy. All right, well, that is definitely better news than I was anticipating. Uh, hoping that there was gonna be nothing wrong with it, but secretly knew that there definitely would be. So I decided that we should just go through and do everything. And that way I know that I have a truck that has all fresh fluids. Basically everything's been taken care of. I know where the truck's at. And that way, if I do decide to go take it on some little adventures or just run it around town, I know that it's going to treat me well. Hey, Adam. Daniel here at Desert Fleet Service and Repair. Just giving you an update on the Honda Acti. Your uh, timing belt, water pump, thermostat, valve cover gasket, crank seal or cam seals. Got the draining the coolant right, right now. Got the uh, timing belt, water pump, uh, crank, camshaft seal, new thermostat. Everything's all in, back together. Hey Adam, Daniel here, Desert Fleet Service, giving you an update on the carburetor rebuild. I found your pilot jet when I pulled it out, it was plugged. I got that cleaned out and uh, we'll still keep moving forward on uh, finishing the rebuild on the carburetor. Your clunky noise for your shock. There's, I pulled it apart and found this washer. Now there's supposed to be a washer in there, but this was in the wrong spot and was not allowing to have the, sh the strut and the shock actually travel like it should. So it was actually hitting the washer and causing it to clunk. There she is. What's up, dude? Yeah, how are you doing? Good, how are you? See you. Desert Fleet Dan, ladies and gentlemen. First thing I noticed, we're fixed. Fixed, yes. Fixed the, the hinge on the, the tailgate here. Yep. And we fixed the other side too, where it was broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll perfect. Yep. We'll perfect. Them back together. These sides are hinged. You can fold all of them down, and this one uh, had broken. And so I asked Dan if he could maybe fix it. Oh, perfect! Look at that. 
So yeah, all this was a huge hole right here. This was all off and then this one was missing. So how did you fix this one? I just took a, a piece of uh, round stock, uh -huh. pulled it out and then basically inserted another well, oh, round sick. stock and welded it up. Yeah. Nice. So from front to back, I did a full service yep. on the diff, the transmission yep. and the engine oil. How did that look? Uh, everything looked really good. Really? Yep. All okay. the fluids look pretty good. We fixed the clunking noise in the front. So yeah, the suspension was a pain in the butt. So this side on the passenger side, there was such a loud clunking. Like anytime I'd go over a little bump, it was like bang, bang. It literally sounded like the shock was gonna come like yeah. up through. So what was it? When it was a part before, it had a washer in the wrong spot. Oh, okay, so yeah, so the previous it. owner did put a lift kit on it. Yeah. So he didn't install it right? It wasn't installed right. It was almost there, but it was <laughs> a washer in the wrong spot, which wasn't allowing it to travel. So every oh. time it was trying to travel, it was hitting the washer. So I've got long travel you, it's, you have all I your just got suspension. suspension upgrade? Yeah, it would only go down a couple inches and stop. Really? Yeah. Oh man, so it's gonna ride better then. Yeah, did the rebuild on the carburetor. Oh, that's right, yeah, yep. yeah. So I did a full rebuild on that. Yeah. Found uh, your pilot jet was a little plugged. Yeah. So we got it cleaned out. The main problem was the, Diaphragm booster yep. for the accelerator pump okay. was leaking. So this thing is going to run like brand new. Yeah, brand new. And you did the water pump we timing belt. Water pump, timing belt, thermostat, new crank seal, and a new uh, camshaft seal. We did, yeah. did a front, front diff seal. Yep. <laughs> it's basically brand new. That's so cool. I told you guys that there was a little treat for the Acti because it's been here, you know, getting some surgery done. So this is what we got. So <laughs> it is essentially just like a little pit bike muffler. Um, that is the full length of the exhaust. Can you hold that up so yeah. people can see the... <laughs> I mean, that, that is it. That is the length of the exhaust on these Actis. And so basically it will just pop out right there and hopefully sound a little bit more fruity. So uh, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's get it done. So this is what the stock exhaust sounds like. Remember that sound. Yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely a little bit of blue smoke. Yeah, why don't we? Shall we? And by we, I mean you. Okay, so this is what a straight piped Honda Acti sounds like. Three cylinders of fury. Ooh, I like it. Let me know in the comments if you know why there is a loose pipe inside of what looks like... Yeah, I mean, it's just like a little expansion chamber, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, let me know. What's that for? Well, I was having a chat with Daniel's wife and he got it on. So there it is. Do you want to do the honors? Here we go. First start up with the new exhaust. Ah! That sounds cool. That sounds <laughs> It sounds so good. Oh man, I love it. I've missed having the Acti so much. <laughs> so this new exhaust sounds so good. It's like definitely louder. Not a ton louder, but it's definitely louder. But it's just so deep now. It's got like a real like, cool burble to it. Oh, by the way, in case you wondered what it looks like when two fully grown men are in this truck. <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> we are very close. Every time I change gear, I keep touching his knee. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are in Havasu and you need anything doing on any of your trucks or whatever, give Dan a call. I'll put all of his information down in the description. He's done an amazing job. He's been so good to work with. So I like to uh, help the people that have helped me. So yeah, give him a shout if you need anything. Um, but yeah, I am ready to do some adventuring. Although we do have to do the sea -Doo trailer today, but it is 11.30 and Diesel hasn't been out yet. Let's go down to the beach. Let's go let Diesel go for a swim and go for a little rip -a -roo in the Acti. <laughs> I love it, I love it. There's 
that beach. So we go down that hill. Ready? So we've got to hope the brakes work, Diesel. Otherwise, we got ourselves a submarine. Look at that. Perfect little beach for us. Good boy. Ah, oh, how's that for a little beach spot? Perfect size for the Acti. Oh, is that nice? Go on then. Go on this one. Ready. Good boy. Wow, it is perfect today. There is not a breath of wind and it's about 80 degrees, something like that. Tell me that this isn't the best vehicle you've ever seen for running around and doing this kind of thing. I mean, look at it. Like, I would struggle to get the truck down here and park it up and then turn it around and get it back up the hill. But the Acti, you just, just park it wherever you want. And then if you get it stuck, you just pick it up and move it. And then if you get it stuck, you just pick it up and move it. No, I don't get stuck with Acti. I love that thing. So I just bought a new beach chair because mine finally gave up the ghost. And I went fancy. I've gone with a recliner. And it's camo? That 100% looks like it's gonna fall off, but whatever. Uh, how do you do it? Like that, one of them. Oh, there it is. Hey, look at that. Oh, I don't know if you can see me or not, but this is bloody brilliant. Alrighty, bud. Ready to go home? Is that nice? Yeah, nice little swim. Good boy. Thank you for uh, not getting my seat too wet. Okay, you gotta get your bum off the gear stick though. Can you go down there? Thanks. So I gotta use this. Thank you. There you go. Good boy. Alright. stuck my lacti. So the problem we're having is that this sand is very soft. Speed and power. Speed and power and away from the water. All right. Get off this beach little lacti. There we go, we did it. We got some side by side showed up behind me and I got embarrassed, so we made it. On to the next mission of the day, which is to swap my skis from my old trailer over to my new trailer. So I've got Chris Hagist, AKA Captain Insano on a stand up. <laughs> You may remember him from the supercharged carbon fiber Sea-Doo powered stand-up video that I did where I absolutely ate shit. So he very kindly offered to trailer the skis down for me so that I didn't have to do two trips with the trailers, or four trips actually. So yeah, the new trailer is um, much longer. <laughs> so you can see from where Chris is parked, this is probably an extra four or five feet longer. Obviously we've gone with the bigger wheels and tires. It's just a lot more robust than the other one. So this one will last me well. It'll do well for long road trips and also for when I have to launch from the beach. Got a nice storage bin as well so I can take some tools, whatever. These transom straps have got to go on, but I need to get new brackets for the rear. The man, the myth, the legend, Chris Hagis, everybody. Here we are, let's do it. It's always funny when you get a new trailer because you gotta learn how to reverse them again. This one's slightly longer, so it should be more stable. Flash down. 
<laughs> it's chilly. It is chilly. How do I zoom into this awesomeness? How do you zoom in? Yeah. On the lens. Goodbye, old trailer. Hello, sexy new trailer. The only thing is, the bunks are kind of... Yeah, you're really hanging off the back. Yeah. Your center of gravity is too far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I spoke too soon. So, the trailer... As you can see, it's actually much too, well, it's not the trailer's too short. The trailer's super long. Like I have a whole, I could put a hammock in here, like on a catamaran and, you know, hang out in this area. The problem is the bunks can stay where they are, but this tower here needs to be either this side of the frame or it needs to just come all the way forwards. Because as you can see on this one, they come over so that the nose of the ski comes up like this and attaches. Whereas this one, they've gone behind which is pushing the back end all the way out. So yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this swap. I think it might have to go back on the old trailer. Where's the tires hit the fender? What's up with that? Uh, oh yeah, there you go, that's the other thing. Yeah, so the tires are in the fenders here. Um, so we're gonna have to, well I say we, they, are gonna have to lift the ski up because obviously we've got the bigger wheels and tires. Okay, well, I thought I was getting a new trailer today, but apparently not. Apparently it's going back. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay, we're back to the Acti. That's how it sounded if I was Scottish and I was saying, oh, we're back in the Acti. We're back to the Acti. Gonna go down the beach. Go back down the beach for the second time in the same day. We're about to go back down to the beach. Now, now I'm just going northern. Today was a very busy day. Thank you guys for coming along and running those errands with me. It seems like every time I get one thing fixed, something else breaks. I mean, the trailer isn't technically broken, but it is annoying that it doesn't fit how it should. But hopefully next week we can get that figured out and I'll be able to get the thing swapped over so that I can be using that trailer permanently because it is a cool looking trailer. It just needs a few things tweaking on it to make it perfect. But it's nice to have the Acti back be able to come out and do stuff like this. I mean, honestly, it is just the dream vehicle for coming and doing this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I've got lots planned with it. Now that we've got the exhaust on first mod done, that is it, I've broken the seal and we're gonna be doing more. So hopefully we can, don't chase that bike. Whatever you do, don't chase that bike. So next up, we are gonna be doing some work to the bed to make it a little bit more uh, form and functionable. F f form, f to make it a bit more, to make it look and work better for the job in which I would like it to do. There you go, however you say that in one or two words. So yeah, just gonna sit here, watch the rest of the sunset, chill out with the dog, watch people rip around Body Beach. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought, let me know what you think of the Acti now that it's back. Uh, let me know what I should do next. What kind of adventures or activities should I be doing with this thing. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, all the places. I'll put all the links below. And most importantly, remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.